Once you're done with the color wheel, what we're going to be doing is, in these different areas, we're going to be using different mixing techniques. Okay? Um, the first one I'm going to be showing you is actually uh, known as modeling. Okay? The second one, eventually, I'm going to show you how to scumble. And then the, the third one is actually going to be finishing up looking like modeling, but starting off with scumbling. So it's going to be a kind of a combination. But each one is going to be a different color scheme. The first one is going to be the simplest of color schemes, which is what? Thank you very much, monochromatic. Okay? So, I'm going to write that in because it makes my life a little bit easier just to have it written in. Alright, you'll notice that actually my anal retention has got the best of me, so yeah, I have a tendency of masking off the area, so I get some really nice crisp edges at the end there. Not necessary for you to do, however, that makes, uh, helps me. Just, again, my anal retention now, with monochromatic, what is monochromatic? Thank you very much, Kyle. Yes, one color plus black and white. So I start with one color. With these, you can use any of the colors I gave you. So being um, somebody who really, really loves phthalo blue, I'm going to use phthalo blue. So it's over here on my left side with my palette. Okay? So I dip my paintbrush in my water in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle. And you can see that's a little bit too watered down. So I load up the brush a little bit more. I start in the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the blue over to the edge and try to get it to thin out a little bit. Get a little bit of water, just like you did with watercolor, to thin it out. Okay? And you fade it away. Okay? Does that make sense? Nothing too difficult. Now, at this point, I'm going to actually grab and put some, um, and actually put some black in this. So I'm going to have it go from light white or light blue to blue to dark blue. So I grab a little bit of black, and you have to be careful because the black, once again, is very strong. See that? Look at that. That completely kills off the color. Okay? And I'm going to pull it over and have it start to mix in with the blue. Okay? Clean off the brush. And grab some, make sure that you don't have any black on it, otherwise you're going to contaminate the center. Load up with the blue. Once again, I start with the blue in the middle. You notice how much thicker it is. Pull it over to the end and have it mix in with the black. And I start to pull it back the other way. Notice I'm not actually lifting up the blue or the black, how it's mixing in with that. That's what I want it to do. Is I want it to mix. I don't want it just to be to be very transparent. Okay? okay. Clean up my brush. So it has a little bit of moisture on it, but not too much, so I kind of clean it off a little bit, so it's a little bit drier. And then I'm able to come in here, and that, that's going to do is it's going to flatten out my brush strokes. It's going to help me blend it just a little bit more. Notice the brush stroke is kind of up and down, not going side to side. Okay. Now the other direction is the same thing, but instead of black, what am I going to use? White. That's pretty easy. And here you're going to see why I love the little blue. Okay? So once again, I start with the blue right in the middle. I'm going to fade it over to the edge. Yeah, that worked for me. Could have used a little bit more water, but I would have. Okay, not bad. So that's how you would normally do something with, like, uh, with watercolor. Acrylic, you actually want to mix the colors. And a lot of times with acrylic, unlike watercolor, you do a lot of mixing on the actual canvas. So now I'm going to grab some white. And here's why I love Thalo Blue. Watch what happens to this blue as I come across. Okay, look at that. It's gorgeous. The only way that I could describe this is I, I look at it as it's kind of like this electric blue. It's just beautiful. The darks are just like this rich dark. The lights are just gorgeous. Bring it over again. Bring it up and down. And those are blends. Does that make sense? And that's modeling. Modeling is, is like rendering with pencil. Okay? You're essentially creating a very smooth transition from a color to a value, 
Now, it doesn't only just do it with monochromatic, you can do that with uh, any kind of color scheme anytime that you're mixing colors. That's modeling when you're trying to get it really smooth. Now, because I pulled the blue over and I'm pulling it back, I'm going to need to add a little bit more white to make it a little bit lighter. Right? You get the idea though, right? Are there any questions? Now, you can use any of the colors that I've given you, but you're going to use that color every single time in these different uh, areas. Okay? This one's going to be complementary, and this is going to be analogous. Okay? So, be sure that when uh, you choose a color here, it's one that you, that you like. That there's really no significance in terms of what color you choose other than it's something that you like. Got it? Are there any questions? No? Nope. All right. There you go.